Um, I'm just going to, shall I just let me, let's see if you want to. Right. Let me just say to everybody that um, we, we will not, we will each make a very brief statement. We will not be taking questions at this time. Um, and we apologize for that, but we need to get back to the uh, conversations that we're having on the issue of chemical weapons. First of all, uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov and I both want to thank uh, Dr. Abrahimi and the United Nations for their invitation uh, to have a discussion today about the question of the Geneva II conference. As everybody knows, the principal reason that uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov and I are here are to have discussions with respect to uh, the initiative to gain control of and uh, remove and destroy the chemical weapons in Syria. That is our principal mission here in Geneva. And I think we would both agree that we had a constructive conversations regarding that, but those conversations are continuing and both of us want to get back to them now. We came here this morning at the invitation of the special representative for uh, the Geneva II and Syria negotiations uh, in order to discuss where those negotiations are and how we can advance them. Uh, I will say on behalf of the United States that President Obama is deeply committed to a negotiated solution with respect to Syria. And we know that uh, Russia is likewise. We are working hard to find the common ground to be able to make that happen. And we discussed some of the homework that we both need to do. I'm not going to go into it in any detail today. We've both agreed to do that homework and meet again in New York around the time of the UN General Assembly, around the 28th, in order to see if it is possible then to find a date for that conference, much of will, which will obviously depend on the capacity to have success here in the next uh, day, hours, days on the subject of the chemical weapons. Uh, both of us, Sergei Lavrov and I, our countries, our presidents, are deeply concerned about the death toll and destruction, uh, the acts on both sides, all sides, that are creating more and more refugees, more and more of a humanitarian catastrophe. And we are committed to try to work together, beginning with this initiative on the chemical weapons in hopes that uh, those efforts could pay off and bring peace and stability to a war-torn part of the world. Uh, and we're very appreciative for Lakhdar Brahimi uh, hosting us today in an effort to try to advance this initiative. Sergey. Thank you very much. Uh, and gentlemen, we had a very useful meeting with Lagda Brahimi. Uh, as you know, as John said just now, we are here uh, basically to discuss the issue of chemical weapons uh, in Syria. Now that the uh, Assad government uh, joined the Chemical Weapons Convention, uh, we have to engage our professionals uh, together with the Chemical Weapons Prohibition Organization, as we agreed with the United Nations, uh, to design a road which would make sure that this issue is resolved uh, quickly, professionally, uh, as soon as practical. Uh, but we are very glad uh, to Lagdar Brahimi for inviting us on this occasion uh, to discuss uh, a longer-term goal for Syria, namely the preparation for the conference, which is called Geneva II. Uh, Russia, the Russian president, uh, from the very beginning of the Syrian conflict, uh, have been promoting a peaceful resolution. We have strongly supported the Arab League initiative, the Arab League observers, then we supported Kofi Annan's initiative, the UN observers, uh, and we were uh, one of the initiators of convening Geneva I. Uh, last year, here, uh, we adopted the Geneva communique with all major, almost all major players, 
including all P5 uh, countries of the region, Arab League, Turkey, European Union, United Nations. And it is uh, very unfortunate that for a long period, the Geneva communique was basically abandoned and uh, we were not able uh, to have endorsement of this uh, very important document in the Security Council as is, as adopted. Uh, thanks to John, uh, who, after becoming Secretary of State, in spite of his uh, huge workload on uh, Arab-Israeli conflict, uh, understood the importance of uh, moving uh, on Syria and doing something about this. And I'm very grateful for him for coming to Moscow on May 7 uh, this year when we launched the Russian-American initiative to convene a Geneva conference to implement fully the Geneva communique, which means uh, that the Syrian parties uh, must reach mutual consent on the transitional governing organ, which would command full executive authority. And uh, the communique also says that all groups of Syrian society must be represented. And we discussed <coughs> these aspects and other aspects of the pre preparatory work today with Lagdar Brahimi and his team. Uh, we are very grateful to Lagdar uh, for his insight uh, for the suggestions which he made uh, and which we will be uh, entertaining as we move forward uh, parallel with the work on chemical weapons. We agreed to meet in New York in the margins of the General Assembly uh, and see where we are uh, and uh, what the Syrian parties uh, think about it and do about it. And we hope that we would be able to be a bit more specific when we meet with you in New York. Thank you very much indeed, uh, both of you, first of all, for coming uh, to talk to us in, uh, in the Palais des Nations uh, in, in, in Geneva. Uh, we look forward to the work you are doing on chemical weapons in Syria. It is extremely important in itself and for itself, but it is also extremely important for us who are working with you uh, on trying to bring together the Geneva II conference successfully. Uh, the, our discussions today, as you have both said now, have been useful, and uh, um, we are not going to retain you much longer. You have other business to do. Uh, thank you again very, very much indeed for being thank here. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I see. I see.